Welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Today, we're going to explore Venus in search of a constellation member that can help us get some more artifacts. Let's jump right in. In between episodes, I learned about the research station here. It looks like here we have the ability to research new things, including uh, pharmacology, food and drink, outpost development, equipment and weaponry. I went ahead and did everything that I can do. Some of these look like they need perks to be unlocked, and some of these I just didn't have the materials I needed to complete it. And I also learned that if you go to the ship menu, you can enter your cargo hold here and dump all your shit. So now we actually have some carry weight in our inventory here. We're only at 50 of 160. I think we were at like 156 at the end of last episode. And uh, yeah, we're gonna... The moon is 90% surveyed. Cool. All right. Let's get outside. My dumbass forgot in the intro that we already went to uh, Venus. So I've already surveyed everything. Why is it telling me to get back on the ship? I want to know what's going on over there. There's actually some things to explore here instead of Earth. So I want to take a look at a thing or two before we move on. This is really cool. Whoa. Rare item acquired. I kind of like being in third person for exploration. First person is probably going to be best for combat. But maybe next time we get into a fight, we try third person combat and see if it's doable. No idea what that is, but it's mine now. Helium. Not something that I can mine. I gotta get real up close and personal to get it. Fuck it. Uh. Collapsed mine. Is that where I am right now? I really want to know. Oh, that was fun. Wrench, don't care. I'm mostly looking for containers to loot because if we take the time to look at every little thing on the ground, we're going to be here forever. more grenades yogurt mining sinkhole planets with cave systems so extensive you could get lost within them for years uh i kind of want to jump down in there fuck it maybe i shouldn't have jumped
Ooh. Dead guy. All he had on him was some chlorine. What is this shit? Whoops, wrong button. Neon. Is this something that I can, oh, I can just collect it. At least a gas. Creature pile? That's disgusting. Is this just telling me a way to get out? the cutter this a neon pile up here it's another creature pile petrofluoride I'm gonna drop that cutter before I forget I think it's weird it's counted as a weapon Kicked it. You see that? It's kind of cool that you can actually mount ledges. That's a helmet. It is J chilling, not on a person's head. found a way out cool well that was a nice fun little detour is there anything else on the map to discover I don't see anything right now I want to just take a little bit more of a look around and see what I can find dock with Nova Galactic shipyard oh that's right we need to go back to the orbit
Ow. How exactly am I supposed to dock again? Dock my ship. I thought it said I just need to get close to it and press a button. Oh. Was a weird little cinematic. Oh, this is a lovely scene. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. What is a kraken and a rib shank? Where did that knife that I went? Oh, 28? We don't need that. Two steps in and we're already looking at a corpse. Yep. Okay. Looks like spacers were scavenging around here and someone else came in and said hello. Oh, this won't be your last encounter with a spacer crew. They pillage abandoned facilities and shoot anyone who gets in their way. They're even less organized than the Crimson Fleet. Just countless desperate groups scavenging and killing to survive. That's kind of a crazy perk. When I'm standing still, I literally go invisible. I think that's because of my uh, armor. Why are you jumping around making so much noise? Don't you see I'm trying to be stealthy here? I hear conflict. This is the bathroom. I might be able to help. I need to get a move on. Who are the bad guys? This guy. This feels very inefficient. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. Gun it is. But he got too close. I didn't know that he was behind cover. Gun has a decent rate of fire. And that, my friend, I'm gonna need to loot people just to keep up on my uh, ammo. I have some things I can eat, right?
might not be worth it to pick all this stuff up in the future. All right, where's my, uh, we're going to hope that this is enough health for the time being. I don't really want to use my colas right now. I only have two. Those actually seem useful. Amp is also useful. What the fuck? Level eight? Hang on a second. I was trying to help you. Heads. Read the secret outpost slate. Secret outpost we're trying to crack once in a lifetime. You'll regret it. Go to the secret outpost at Denabola I B. Expert. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, I need some HP now. We're gonna run. Why are they blowing up when I defeat them? Damn, she fucked him up. I don't agree that I missed all those shots. I don't remember what I put down there. I think I put bandages there. Let's fix that. I think med packs are really what we need to have as my quick heal. Although I've only got 19 left. Take that 20. It is kind of convenient that one of the first places they take you to in the game is somewhere that looks like it has a medical facility. And I can pick up a bunch of drugs. We're going to go back to crouching because I want to sneak attack them if I can to progress my stealth skill. Blood coming from over here. Oh, it's a dead guy. Not sure what a control rod is, but it's mine now. 
kidney dish? They have special dishes for kidneys? So tired. Uh, which one? Suppress. Holy shit. I didn't know this thing was automatic. Oh, where'd you come from? That hurts. a side star we'll we'll let her take care of that we're gonna run out of ammo real fast if we use this thing actually I want to try out this gun oh shit damn he came at me real reckless I'm gonna use all my healing items here. This feels like a futuristic revolver. With 12 shots. What the fuck? Come on back. Now that I have cover, you don't want to come back? I cannot hold a gun steady to save my life. I'm going to end you. Looks like there's a lot of enemies ahead. What the fuck? There's no way I can hit him from here. I'm out of ammo. Bad luck for you. I might have to get the perk that gives me extra pistol damage. Level 12? Hang on a second. What the fuck? I have an idea. Not equipable? Then how do I use it? Um throw a grenade is right bumper. I didn't know that it was gonna just drop it on the ground. Pretty go. Where'd he go? Why does he keep running? Hey girl, pay attention. This is not a good situation to be in. Oh shit. You leave her alone. This dude does not want to die. Rest of the guys down there. There's one. Don't leave any of that behind. <laughs> I picked up the money and she's like, don't leave that shit behind. I got a new pack of some sort. Med packs are gonna be really good to keep up on. 
I know I said I might not grab the food items, but like, I might need them. They lost track of me. Can't go in there. Need to make sure I collect all the wooden ducks I see. Legendary helmet? On that random guy? Why? Alright, let's go back where we came from real quick. Because there were some more bodies over here. And I think there's also more people up above. Not sure what my best option is here. Ooh. Nice. I thought there was one other guy. Maybe I'm wrong. But the sooner I can get my stealth skill up, the better. Not a big coffee guy, but that seems kind of useful. I think that was coffee. I didn't even read what it said. Oh my god, she scared me. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. Sounds like a Vanguard badass. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to the ships than fighting them. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, all right, let's get out of here. I have almost no O2. Oh, it's starting to come back now. If I'd have known he was there, I would have snuck. I was half expecting to open the door and be assaulted. Uh, is there a bed I can use? Hey there. I figured that would heal me. Alright, let's get out of here. Far away you think that is. Really far.
Oh, we got there way faster than I thought we would. Get ready. Oh shit. I can't turn fast enough. Most hostile ship. Whoa, most hostile ships can be boarded once the ship's engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you will be allowed to dock. Once you board, expect the crew on the ship to fight That's back. It. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that Vanguard. I mean, they've got to know where I'm coming from, right? Where is everybody? She walked right in front of me. I don't think she values her own life very much. Oh shit. I think I probably need to use laser weapons against guys that have those weird shields get out of my way you dumb hoe god damn i can't help you if i can't move i don't know if our instrumentation is rated for long-term exposure to this level of cold what do you mean it isn't in that cold What you doing in here, brother? Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs, they'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pulled their money to hire professionals. Now I know that kind of talk. You two Marines? Constellation, actually. What? Seriously? Man, I've heard stories, but I had no idea you all were this dangerous. We've heard stories too, about a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Hey, sorry. I just didn't know what it was. But I guess that's what you all are for, right? Here, happy to trade a novelty for a rescue any day. Let's grab the artifact. Good work. 
Let's get back to the lodge. Okay. Let's head back. So, were you eating at the Sage Brook, or is it just a quick snap from the Terra Brew? the spacesuit goes back on because I don't have any clothes to wear right now. I threw them all in the uh, in the ship. I also want to put some of these guys in as our thing. Let's do energy weapons or laser rifles up. We'll do ballistic weapons on the right we can do melee weapons on the left and then we will reserve down for whatever miscellaneous BS I decide to get myself into. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Space helmet and spacesuit added. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. We can travel together for now. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. 8,000 credits. So many questions. You can thank Barrett for that. If he's still around to thank when this is all said and done. Honestly, he took this seriously before any of us. 
It was at his urging that we started doing deep space scans. I will admit, it was something of a shock to see Barrett taking anything seriously. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Exploration is my entire life. I consider it both a career and recreation. That being said, I will make a confession, but you have to promise to keep it between us. Before I graduated from school, I was in a band. And no, I don't mean the school band. I mean a rock band. Nice. We called ourselves Ironic Comet. <laughs> a ridiculous name, I know. But uh, we were just a bunch of teenagers getting together and having fun. And before you ask, no, I wasn't the lead singer. I actually played the drums. The band never really went anywhere, of course, but those were good times, and I remember them fondly. I would have guessed Qatar. You mean, apart from being the chair of Constellation for the past five years? Well, let's see. I pride myself with my aptitude for astrodynamics, calculating optimal trajectories for grab jumping. That's been quite useful in the past. And as far as planetary exploration, my area of expertise is botany. So, don't worry. I won't let you eat anything that might put you in the hospital. <laughs> my parents considered themselves to be enlightened. But their lives were so busy, they rarely pursued their beliefs. By the time I was old enough to start questioning these things, the idea of following any organized religion was almost an afterthought. It's not that I don't want to believe in anything. It's that my scientific mind is often at odds with my spiritual center. Having been out there, in the star field, seeing all those magnificent wonders with my own eyes, I need answers, not religious theory. I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but don't worry. While we're on this journey together, I fully intend to respect your religious beliefs. I guess the religions are probably completely Very different well. nowadays. Next time then. It's all important, but if you want a direction, I'd grab Barrett first. He's not just an old friend. He's been all over the settled systems. We maintain a star station in orbit above us. It's where we do all our deep space scanning. Vladimir runs the station. Brilliant astronomer. Years of practical experience. His mind is always somewhere, but there's no arguing his knack for being in the right place at the wrong time. Oh, too bad he couldn't see the artifacts coming together. But knowing him, he'll be so excited when he gets a look, it won't occur to him that he's missed anything. Oh, that's right. He wasn't here when you first showed up. He should be back by now. I'll let him handle the introductions. If I steal his thunder, I'll never hear the end of it. Okay. okay. Level six. So if I learned anything from that last round of combat, it's that we need more health. Heal 200 damage. Interesting. And that should unlock these, right? Physical damage reduced by 5%. Food and drinks 10% more effective. Unlock the ability to combat slide, taking 15% less fall damage. I like that. Gain 10 resistance to airborne environmental damage and energy damage is reduced by five percent we might look into some of those in the future i want to delve into the tech and science trees i'm just not sure how important these are yet i guess we'll find out I okay at your service captain i cannot wait to meet him it's been ages since Constellation has had someone new. I wonder what he's like. Just go easy on him. Being interrogated by a kid ain't exactly the best way to make a first impression. I'll limit it to the really important stuff, Dad. This does not bode well. 
And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. No. Funny story, I caught this one stealing my ship. Only reason I didn't turn her in is because we have the same last name. Dad. Smart ass. All right. That's my one. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons, well, I'm going to fall asleep before you do. Trust me. Don't encourage him. Koriko, by the way. Hi, hi. There's no you have to be this tall sign for space. There should be. The package may be small, but she can handle herself. You'll see. Nice to meet anyone brave enough to fly the frontier. Know a thing or two about spacecraft, do we? Hey, don't spook our new friend. Frontier's a fine ship. Honest. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition? Sure enough, that's where we're heading. The three of us are heading to Aquila, for a settled planet of the Free Star Collective, and not coincidentally, the home of their capital, Aquila City. We'll land in the city's spaceports, but the frontier is our goal. It's a rough country, spawned a lot of stories. And I got a lead on a tale that um, makes me think one thing. Artifact. Yeah, don't piss off the Free Star Rangers. As far as the Collective is concerned, they're judge, jury, and executioner. Damn. They're the good guys, but that don't make them any less dangerous. Outside that, just don't be an asshole. No promises. I want to go rescue Barrett first. That's what Sarah wanted to do. I guess it wouldn't hurt. We just got back from a supply run anyway. Let me know when you're ready. I'm listening. Okay. I don't know how I ended up on this planet. I didn't mean to be here. Return to Vectera. Wait. Is this not literally where we are? Oh, it's on the other side of the planet. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. We will get on with saving Barrett next time. Until then, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.